Okay, in this video we're checking out the HDLRC forward 50 amp Beal Heli 32 ESC. It's a 32 bit ESC and it's in this like sort of super skinny form factor. It's about 10 millimeters in width and they've kind of done this like interesting design where they've stacked the PCBs here. You can see the, uh, the PCBs in there's like a three layer PCB here and they've staggered the little prongs here for the motor uh, wires so that you, you won't be able to, well, less likely that you'll you'll solder bridge these if they're because they're going to be kind of close if they're on the same PCB. So they've kind of done that to shrink this down, and they've put the uh, the power leads here in the center. It's only these three capacitors here, and nothing on the other side. Now I did use the I did build this already. Uh, they sent five of the ECs and put four of them in this build. This is the uh, iFlight XL5 lowrider and um, I put the I put a capacitor on the PDB. It's a 1000 milliamp hour low ESR, ESR capacitor. So that's pretty much it for video filtration. We'll have to see if if that's enough. Now they did send me some video samples of this in, in flight and the video does seem pretty clean. So whatever MOSFETs they're using in here or however they built this uh, it doesn't seem like this is a very noisy ESC, and um, it is 32 bits, so it's uh, BL32. It comes with the latest firmware, I think it's 32.6, I believe, and um, so you only have to get the latest uh, BL32 configurator um, app to be able to change your motor rider directions. But this is how it comes. It's, you know, pretty skinny. Um, you get this lead here for your servo wire, the motor signal. And uh, I think in my build here, I just took the ground here and I soldered it to the ground over here. Soldered the power to my PDB here. And then, of course, the white is the signal. There's no ESC telemetry on this one, as far as I know, and no current sensor on this one. Probably due to the lack of space. But anyway, so let me give you the dimensions here. It's about yeah, 10 millimeters across, and at its thickest point, it's six about six and a half millimeters and the length here of course it's longer coming in at uh, 43 millimeters in length okay and this is the weight with the uh, all the wires and stuff that came with it's coming in at about 7.6 grams so anyway so i already have uh, this built out with four of these ecs on this build here on this frame these arms are fairly skinny you can see I have a uh, uh, don't uh, kids don't uh, build this like I built this because uh, I have these motor wires here just kind of flopping around and just wrapped up in, with some tape here. This is not how you should build it. So just don't don't copy what I'm doing here. I just did this because I had long motor wires and I just wrapped it around this way. I didn't really want to cut it really super short here. This is what I would have had it done. And I know you could use like some like one of those like race wire things, or whatever. I don't have any of those, so I just doing this because I just want to do some testing. So I built this frame. I think I've got the single, it's like all one flight controller, PDB, and video transmitter from HDLRC in there. I think it's like the F4 V6 Pro or something like that. I'll put links to all this in the description. So I'm testing this out and some and some new motors out too. These are the uh, LHI uh, 2407s, uh, 1800 kV. So I'll be flying this on 6S. So yeah, this ESC is also 2 to 6S capable. And uh, these new dowel props here, the 5247s, so they're 5.2 inch props, and yeah, this ought to draw a lot of amps, ought to have a lot of power, 2407 motor, so we'll have to see how, how that does on the 6S setup, I'm going to be testing out uh, these new iFlight full send 1050 milliamp hour 6S batteries, so a whole bunch of new stuff in this video, um, if you want to see more uh, details on the motor, up close, I'll have another another video in that. I'll sh to show you the uh, the motor. Um, I think I've already done a video on the frame already. Uh, the camera is just a, I think it's a Foxier Predator V3 Micro. So yeah, nothing too unusual or fancy about this build, other than the fact that I'm using these super skinny ESCs on the arms. And at that this point, I'll go ahead and show you some flight footage, and we'll see how all these components perform together. Okay, let's see how this uh, performs. It's a uh, stock Betaflight. 
Didn't do any tuning. Pretty locked in already, just, just in the first few seconds. Wow, these motors are smooth. Yeah, pretty nice. I'm not sure if this battery is going to be able to handle the abuse. It's going to draw a lot of amps. I'm going to probably have to take it a little bit easy on this. So I think I got a low battery warning already. I think I, I left my video transmitter on 25 milliwatts. So okay, I'm not going to be going too far. Really nice. Stock beta flight, no problem, no vibrations. I don't hear anything weird. Pretty smooth. I got a low battery warning already. Yep, low battery. So these 2407 motors are sucking down the juice. That's pretty much what I expected. But these uh, ECs are performing very nicely, very smooth. D Shot 1200, of course, 32 VDSCs, latest firmware. Looks like the voltage came back a little bit. Got a bit of voltage sag on this battery. I think iFlight said they're going to be sending me some updated batteries. Perhaps uh, they noticed that the cells are sagging too much. So, prototype stuff here on the batteries at least. But the voltage came back up to about 22.3. And about 22, probably have to land pretty soon. Got plenty of power on this setup. I like it. Okay, now it's time to land. I'm at 21. Not too bad. Three minutes, uh, you know, for this motor size. It's about I think, what I would expect.